people die, they don't just dissipate in the thin air, you guys. He's good. Um, all right. Cameron, I love you. I think that we should listen to what China has to say when she says that. People don't dissipate into thin air when they die. This video isn't really going to be like a happy or upbeat video because that's not that's not what I want right now. That's not that's not what I'm feeling right now. It's not what I've been feeling for the past few days. <laughs> um, something that has been on my mind for a very long time, ever since I was little, probably about six, is death and why it occurs and what happens and where do you go and why the people that are left here feel the way they do. And I just, I, I kind of want to rant to you guys about it. I kind of just want to sit here and talk to you guys about how I feel. Um, I'm going to try not to edit this video that much. This video is also not monetized. I just want to get my feelings out there. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hard one, but, but it'll be alright. Now, one thing that I can remember from me being little is looking up to people heavily, as you can probably tell from my channel when I am passionate about somebody or people or, or music or movies or whatever that I'm into, it, it runs deep with me. Um, some would even say that I have <laughs> obsessions um, as a joke. Like my family and friends joke around saying that I have obsessions with the stuff that I'm into. And the, the idea of death has probably been in the back of my mind uh, ever since my grandfather passed away when I was six because that was the first big death that I had been around for. It's I guess seeing people that you are close to, like we lose people we're close to that we know personally, and then we lose celebrities that we don't know that we've never met, and it still hurts. Like I never met Cameron and it I am taking it really hard for some reason. I, I don't know why. Actually, no. Yes, I do know why. Cameron was someone that I looked up to heavily. Um, I literally remember the first day that Jesse came on. I know exactly where I was at for the first episode. And it is he he's somebody that I, I guess you could say that I grew up with even though I never met him and so one of the things that I would do would would like when I was a kid and like aspiring to be whatever that I'm gonna be <laughs> just looking to the future because it's all connected one of the things I would do would be look up people who were born the same year I was and try to figure out what the people that were my age were doing to make it and how they were living and stuff like that and and a couple of the people that I looked up were Cameron obviously and Chandler Riggs from The Walking Dead and just Daniel <laughs> CV um 
because I, I guess it's just what my brain wanted to connect to. It's, it's what, it's what it wanted to do. I would think, wow, if those people are doing what they're doing and they're my age, then obviously I can do something cool too. And so one of the things that I was passionate about that was connected to a lot of others was getting autographs. And so I went through this phase where I would get as many as possible from the people that I wanted them from. I made it a goal and I wanted my goals to get done. And while I knew that I living in Alabama, I'm too far from California, which would be where Cameron was living. How could I get that? And I stumbled across this magazine and don't tell me that they're fake. Don't tell me that it's not real. Don't tell me they're not authentic because it's, it's what I have to cling to right now. And just even if you think it's fake, don't tell me. I, I don't want to hear it. It's something that I have to cling to. And I've done the steps personally to see what, uh, to make sure that I thought it was real. And when I was about 12 years old, I went through a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And I turned to the things that I loved, whether it be YouTube or family or God or or TV even, like watching Jesse or movies and stuff. A lot of the memories I have when I was going through that dark time one in particular was going to the movies to see Grown Ups <laughs> too with my sister. <sighs> and I can remember being really excited to watch it <laughs> because Cameron was in it. Somebody my age had, was was on the big screen, and I could spend that time watching it <laughs> with my sister. That's just that's just one of the uh, that's just one of the memories I have. <sighs> and so while I was going through all this crazy stuff, I. 12 I did I found the magazine that said that you could send <laughs> you could send letters to people and so I did and this is one of the ones that I got back it's yeah um So it's something that I'm going to keep, even if you think it's not real. I do. I'm going to believe what I do about it. I'm going to believe that it's real. And like I said before, if you don't think it is, please don't tell me. Let me, let me have it. <laughs> just, just let me cling to it. It's something that helps ease it. And no, I never met him. I never even, like I never talked to him. But I feel like he's someone that I've known forever. Somebody that I grew up with, even though he didn't know who I was <laughs> and I never met him. Having that little autograph, even if it's not real, I like to think it is having that was was and still is something extremely special to me because I had something from one of the people that I looked up to 
and I've obviously done a lot more with different stuff as I've gotten older, but that time in my life will always hold a special place in my heart. Not that Grown Ups 2 came out when I was 12, but 12 to 14 and 15, 16 were really hard years for me. And it was one of the things that I could turn to. And this whole video isn't just about Cameron, it's not, it's about death in general. I don't understand it. Like China said, people don't just dissipate into thin air. And I have my religious beliefs. I'm a Christian. I support everybody and love everybody. The thought of people just not existing anymore, I can't comprehend that. It's not something that my brain can even fathom. Like China said, the people who pass on, they're good. I don't understand death and I don't think that I ever will. I don't think that we're supposed to. And it, it sucks and it hurts and it's hard. We have to stick together. Have to be here for each other. We <laughs> we have to spread love. And as Cameron said, at the third gala, we have to make life better for other people, the people that need us. <sighs> I've come close to death many times. I don't understand why one of those times didn't take me. I'm thankful that they didn't. It, lately it seems like people are dying left and right. People you know, people you don't know, but you feel like you knew, you look up to, and you see them on the screens every day and you grow up with. And I don't I've never liked death. I've never liked funerals. I don't like anything to do with it. I don't I don't like to even go near the thought of death and uh It's not that I'm afraid of it. I just don't like the thought of it. I don't like the thought of somebody who was literally here not being here anymore. I don't like the thought of the separation. I don't like the thought of the unknown of it. I don't understand it. I've always had this feeling of getting older and not liking it. And you know, sure, it's relatable to to not want to get older, but I don't mean it like that. I mean memories and emotions and everything that comes with getting older. It's always been weighing heavily on my mind. Always getting older and living life and making sure you're doing it right before you do before you run out of time and it's just it's really 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 hard to think about when people go it seems to the people that are still here that that it was too soon or it was too short and and, and one of the things is people say that you're here until you fulfill the purpose that you have and we don't understand that and I think that's one of the things that I don't like about it is the unknown but that's just the way that it is I don't understand death I don't understand the way that it takes people or that it chooses people I don't understand the numbness I don't understand how you can't fathom it I don't understand how someone can be here and then just not be I don't, I don't like that thought. But what I do understand is that we have the power to do what we can with the time that we do have and the love that we can give to the people that we are still with. 
the love that we can show to the people that we are still with, the forgiveness that we can show to the people that we are still with. I think that's what what I'm choosing to do with the time that I have with the people that I have. I don't think Cameron was someone who anybody expected to pass on so suddenly. I know there was talk of medical issues, but it wasn't something that everybody just thought of. And it just kind of seemed really sudden to a lot of us, if not most. And I don't, I don't think that he would want people to, to be so sad. I think that we can do what we can with the people and the time that we are gifted with. And we can show the love that we know that it is there and make those memories while you can. I'm sorry this video wasn't very serious. It's just been weighing on my mind a lot the past few days and even before Cameron's passing is the death in general has been on my mind a lot. I don't like to think about it, but it just kind of happens. So please forgive me for this not being an upbeat and happy video. We're not always upbeat and happy all the time. And I've been taking this past few days pretty hard, even though I didn't know him. It still sucks. It still hurts. And I'm sure there's going to be those people that see this and don't understand or try to laugh or make a joke and just not understand why it hurts so bad. Especially when Cameron is somebody that a lot of us didn't know personally. But it's not for them to understand. It's for the people who, who cared about him a lot to understand. It's for the ones that are hurting to mourn and to have the special memories that they have. That's what it's for. Don't listen to the people who laugh at you for being upset about it. Don't listen to the people who make jokes and tweets for likes and retweets because <laughs> they have no idea what you have been through. You deserve the right to mourn when you are sad. I want you to know that I love you guys. And I want you to go hug someone whether it's for yourself or whether it's someone who you think needs it, or even if you don't want to, it might would help. Check up on yourself, check up on your health, check up on the people that you're close to, make sure that they're okay physically, mentally, make sure that you're good. And yeah, I think I feel better now that I've talked a good little bit. And things get better over time. It obviously won't be back to normal, like a, like that. But I think that I think that if we stay together and love each other and figure it out, even if figuring it out means agreeing to just not understand. Thank you, Cameron, for being someone who I could turn to during really hard times. I'm wishing your family and friends and fans the best and sending them all the love and prayers that they need. Thank you. We'll miss you, buddy. Yeah. Help others. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for everything you do. Spread love today. Bye, guys.